Morning guys. So I'm a week out today. I'll be on stage next Saturday. Sounds so weird to say that. I I can't even believe it. But um Yeah, it's surreal saying that honestly. But right now I'm just gonna be making some breakfast. I already kinda went out for a little morning walk. Honestly, it was like five minutes because it's freezing outside. So I think today if it gets a little bit nicer out, then I'll go for another walk. Because I do enjoy going for a walk. Like, it's it's a nice part of my day, for sure. Gets the body moving. Keeps the mental a little bit less focused on prep. And just one, one, foot, uh, sorry, one foot in front of the other. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, it's 8.30. And I'm going to make some breakfast. And I'll show you guys that. Guys, look at this. I, I'm, I'm actually stoked on this. So I'm doing a higher fat day. Doing a, just over 100 grams or 95 grams of fat today, 2,000 calories. Um, so I got some pizza pepperoni, uh, one egg in the middle. I got a little cheese wrap over there that I'll be putting it on with some G Hughes, the best, the goat. Um, this one's maple brown flavored barbecue sauce. So good. Yeah, I'll show you guys the finished product. Hey guys, so. I got some French toast here. This is my pre-workout meal. Then I'm gonna go tan. I have to go stop at uh, my work first, but um, yeah, so I'm eating. I'm hoping to be at the gym about an hour and 20 minutes after this, and I'll take a Rice Krispies treat right before my workout. Got the Walden Farms. I'm actually, this bread, because I'm doing kind of low carb and higher fats right now. Probably just honestly for two days, and then it'll be up in the carbs, because I'm, I feel like I'm ready to up the carbs. I feel like I'm ready for peak week. Um, but yeah, it's this uh, carbon up bread. It's pretty good. It smells really good, so I'm pretty stoked. But um, it has nine grams of carbs per slice, um, seven grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein. So, and only 3.5 grams of fat, which is pretty damn good. So this is a, it's about, 36 grams of carbs, um, whereas in my white bread, it is, uh, it would be about almost 60 grams of carbs for four slices. So this allows me to eat more carbs throughout the day. And this bread honestly looks really good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat it, head to the gym, I'm, or sorry, tan, then head to the gym. And I'll try to film as much as I can today. It's hard right now, guys. Like, I... Pre-workout doesn't really do anything. And then I get to the gym and motivation isn't really there. So I have to really, like, put my headphones in and just, like, go. People try to talk to me. Like, my buddy asked me for a spot yesterday right when I got there. I wanted to be like, hey, man, no. Like, I, I literally cannot focus on anything but what I'm doing. So it's no offense if you see this video. Um... Just know if I'm not talking to you, it's nothing personal. It's, I got to focus. So, um, yeah, see you guys soon. Alrighty, so starting off uh, for my leg day, I started off with Romanian deadlifts, which targets the hamstring mostly. You'll notice, like, I'm keeping my legs super straight, night, the slightest bend in the knee, but it keeps all the tension on the hamstrings. I do these pretty quick because I'm pretty confident with my form and I feel it all the way through. As you can tell, I'm not doing super heavy weight. I'm just feeling it. I'm a week out now, so everything has to be just good form, feeling the stretch. And I find with Romanians, you don't need to go super heavy, and you can really feel it. Like, trust me, guys, if your form's good with Romanians, you can do some serious work on your hamstrings. I highly recommend getting into them with the right form. So again, just an extra 20 pounds on there, um, going really slow to start off with and then once I have my rhythm like I, you can tell I just and you can tell like you can see my hamstrings the lighting's not very good but they're contracting very well you can see the definition so I'm getting the right spot that I want to hit so there's no point in pushing the weight too much um, just focusing on the form really well and uh, yeah this was I didn't film too much honestly I I was pretty dead so then I went into squats after these were hard because I did the Romanians first, and I usually start with the power squat machine. Um, so I did my, my three plates. I still got it for, I think, eight reps. Um, but, yeah, my legs are getting pretty lean, leaner by the day. I'd say the carbs are really helping out. Um, 
yeah, no, this is still probably my favorite exercise for legs. I mean, like once I get back into squatting after my show, it'll be low bar squats 100%. Those are my favorite for building muscle and building strength. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Hello, YouTube. So it's a little bit later in the day. Um, I got home from the gym and straight away I made a burger. Um, I decided I'm not doing high fat, low carb anymore. I'm sticking to the carb diet that I was doing because it was working. Um, doing more cardio and I just function better on higher carb. I wasn't functioning and if I'm not functioning, I wasn't able to burn calories at the gym. I wasn't able to push myself at the gym. I wasn't even living. So, and I was improving every day with the higher carbs. So I'm sticking with it. Um, and yeah, I made some pancake mix, uh, Greg Doucette's uh, banana, uh, use bread. And it's so much pancakes for how many calories it is. It's crazy. I'll show you guys later, but um, I'm doing that and made a burger when I got home. It was really good, just on white bread. Um, probably do that tomorrow again, post-workout, really good. My energy is up from it, um, I can tell. So that's, that's how you know that this is, this is the right thing to do, I think. Um, so for my dinner, which I'll do probably soonish, like probably around six, I'm just gonna do a lighter ones because my pancakes are a little bit higher calorie. Um, it is, 100 grams of chicken in half a cup of just tomato sauce, it's 30 calories, with um, zucchini, which I'm gonna grate and hope that it turns into a similar thing to kind of like noodles. It won't be zucchini noodles, but it'll be the best that I can do. So I'll just do 300 grams of that and it's like 50 calories. So I'm stoked for that. I will show you guys that, I promise. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't been showing you too many meals. Like it's tough for me because when I get home from the gym, I'm literally like food, food, food. That's all I can think about. So I forget to film it, but like, I would have loved to show you guys the burger and I'll show you next time. Probably I'm now seven days out. It's crazy. I, I can't even explain what it feels like, you know, it's so surreal that I've come this far and you know, it's, it's quite something right now. I, Sorry, I'm trying to prop this, but like, it doesn't want to be nice. Anyways, I'll just hold it. Um, so yeah, I, I've been doing pretty good lately. I've been able to actually, I don't know if you guys play video games, but I have a PC and lately I've just been playing Borderlands 1 again, nostalgic kind of, just to keep my head a little bit off prep. Um, but I'll definitely, after my next meal, it's a pretty small meal, I plan on going for a walk to try to just get my digestion going, because I haven't had a movement today, if you know what I mean, sorry, but yeah, I'll be honest, it's a big thing in prep, I find that digestion, you need a good digestion, very important, so yeah, I'm just kind of chilling right now, uh, the walk doesn't, I do like, I'll probably try to walk for half an hour because that's when I feel like I've actually burned like at least a hundred calories. I think it's different for everyone. Obviously it depends on your heart rate, but if I walk for half an hour, I usually feel, I don't really feel tired after, but I feel like I've done something and it, it just makes me feel better because a big part of prep is doing things that make you feel good about yourself because a lot of times you get really in your own head, you second guess everything. So like, I cleaned my kitchen last night and I had a better sleep because of it, I swear. Because I just felt a little bit more accomplished. Because it's, you know, I don't really do a whole lot right now. I I got invited out to a club tonight. Uh, my buddy, he invited me and I, I was like, I mean, it wasn't even a question in my head. Like, no, like it wasn't even a question because I can't go out and not drink. I, I'm that kind of person where very addictive personality. If people around me were drinking, I'd want food. I'd like the thing is I wouldn't even want to drink. I just I'd be I would use it as an excuse to like walk across the street and get like a pizza or something, right? So I just can't. I'm a week out and it sucks because it's Halloween and I'm I'm twenty two, you know, like it's it is tough. But 
this is all going to be worth it in a week from now. And I'll be able to go out whenever I want. You know, it'll be my off season. I'm a generally healthy person. I don't go out very much. So when I do go out, it's... I'm an all out kind of person. I'll go out once in a while and go all out. Like, I'm not going to go for one drink. I'm, I'm going... I'm going until basically uh, I can't anymore. And see, like, that's how... For my prep, or during prep even, up until about a month ago, I smoked weed every day. And I actually had to quit about a month ago because it's tested for in my show. It's not banned out of competition, so it's not like I didn't do anything wrong by smoking it. I, I just got to get it out of my system for the show, which it's been a month by now, so definitely out of my system. I noticed, like, the first week, I felt like I was having some mental clarity. I was like, oh, I'll never smoke again. And, like, the truth is, guys, I, I probably will just, I'll start smoking again, like, I think about it a lot right now. I mean, like, once I have more food, I don't know how I'll be about it, but, um, yeah. But anyways, I'm, I'm just kind of rambling, adding, I mean, like, telling you guys my thoughts right now. Um, but I will definitely show you guys my next two meals, which are going to be amazing. I'm super excited. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. Yo! So, hey guys. I just made my uh, fourth meal of the day, second last meal. I don't like saying that, but um, yeah, we got uh, 300 grams of cauliflower rice, 100 grams of zucchini shredded, uh, 100 grams of chicken, half a cup, half a cup of quarter, or 15 grams, sorry, of um, shredded cheese, light, and some hot sauce and some tomato sauce comes out to about uh, 350 calories, I think, which is pretty good because like, this will keep me full for another, it won't keep me full, nothing keeps me full, I'm a big eater guys and like, that's why I have to use like cauliflower rice because the cauliflower rice is only 300 grams is 70 calories. You think about that's low for how much like 300 grams. So, well, that's frozen weight, but I'm just waiting for it to cool down. Usually I'd end the video and like eat right away. I wouldn't be able to help myself. As you can tell, I'm like, I get really happy when I, when I have food in front of me. <laughs> like, I'm not usually happy right now. I'm usually miserable, but um, I'll show you guys what I just picked up. Uh, zero sugar iced teas. I'm going to try one of these. I think it's going to be really good. I think iced tea is one of those ones for zero sugar that could be really good. Um, the other one that's really good, because there are some that are really bad. Diet Coke, not good. Uh, zero sugar anything really is not good. But uh, the zero sugar um, Sprites are really good, really tasty. Next, after this one, I think I want to try the... Um, I just buy like a 12 pack and drink it for a while. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying I think it'll be good. But um, the Sprite Zero Sugar is really good. The thing is, I like the ones without caffeine because the more caffeine I have, I usually have them at night. The more caffeine I have, the harder time I have sleeping. So these ones have 15 milligrams of caffeine, which is nothing for me because like throughout the day, I admit having like two coffees at least and pre workout, which is 400 milligrams. So I'm usually having about 700 milligrams a day right now. My pre doesn't hit that hard, but um, it's supplemented by a lot of carbs in the morning to allow myself to work out hard, and I burn all those carbs off. Like, the thing is, I'm actually improving my physique eating at maintenance. Um, it's better. I was eating at 1,700 and wasn't making any progress because I just, my, my workout suffered, um, everything was suffering. So, the point that I'm trying to make is, um, mistake for my prep, lowered my calories too early. Um, so I'll take that into account for next year because I will be doing a show next year. But um, now I'm eating at maintenance and I feel awesome. I have so much energy. Um, everything just moves better. I'm happier. And the thing is, I'd rather do more cardio and eat more than suffer and do less cardio. I was trying to do less cardio and, and my workouts were just not, not good on 1700. So, and I don't like a high fat diet with low carb. I don't. Um, I don't really think it works for me. I think it works. Everything's different for everyone. In peak week, a lot of people at the start of peak week will do low carb or zero carb. And they'll carb deplete. Then they'll introduce carbs later in the week. I'm thinking I'm going to keep my carbs around where they're at right now because I digest them really well. And I still get really tired later in the day. Um, 
I saved more carbs for later today. That's why I have more energy. But, and I'm in a good mood. I couldn't explain why. Usually I'd be like dead by now. I wouldn't even be able to talk to the camera. So um, my point being that I think next year, the prep's gonna go a lot better. I won't be as miserable for sure. Um, Cause I've learned so much about myself this prep. And uh, yeah, I think my food's cool enough to the point where it'll still burn my mouth, but I'll be able to stomach it. And I'm watching Breaking Bad right now. I've already seen it through like twice, but it's one of my favorite shows of all time. So I'll catch you guys for my final meal, which is going to be crazy. And I'll show you guys the macros for that. It's about, I think it's 600 calories, something like that. And it's just, it's insane the amount of volume that we're going to get out of it for pancakes. So I'll show you guys that. Hey guys, so this is my last part of the video. Um, settling down for the day, got my last meal. And you guys will not believe, so this is Greg Doucette's um, blueberry uh french toast pancakes it's about 600 something calories but then i added some pb2 so it's probably more so around 700 i want to say but look at how many pancakes there are like a freaking it, it's it's a mountain and <laughs> i'm stoked so um this is what gets me excitement nowadays, food, like good food. So I'm gonna just gourmet myself to sleep. Hopefully get a good rest tonight. And then uh, I think tomorrow's gonna be a good day for the gym, honestly, just cause of, mostly cause of this. Um, eating a heavy carb meal at night, I find helps you feel better the next day. Like I feel more alive, I feel, I don't know, I just feel overall better. But if you guys liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe means a lot and uh yeah catch you in the next one hopefully within a couple of days probably honestly one more before the show and i'll do a show day kind of like vlog and i'll show you guys that too uh we are currently six days out basically tomorrow on uh sunday <laughs> crazy so surreal this has been quite the prep um yeah uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one